Now let us see the second option. Here on the left side, the power of minus 2 is 3. That makes it cube of minus 2 and its value is minus 8. On the right side, the power of minus 2 in brackets is 3 and it also has a value of minus 8. That is, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this option is correct. In the third option, on the left side, the power of minus 2 is 4. Its value is minus 16. But on the right side, the power of minus 2 in bracket is 4 and its value is 16. Here the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side. So this option is incorrect. Look at the fourth and last option. It has minus 2 raised to power 5 on the left side and its value is minus 32. The right side has the minus 2 in brackets raised to the power 5 and its value is also minus 32. That is, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this option is correct. Friends, note that only those two options are correct which have an odd number as the power. Even though we have obtained this model with some examples, but it is true for all real numbers with odd number as its power. Let us see another question and simplify it. Look at the question carefully. Can we use any rule of exponents here? If you are thinking that here we will use this rule of exponents, then it is wrong. If the question has a symbol of multiplication, we can use this rule. But this question has a sign of addition here. So we cannot use this exponential rule to simplify it. We can write it in this way. The cube root of 8 is 2 and the square root of 8 is 2 root 2. We can write it as 2 multiplied by 1 plus root 2. Only when there is a sign of multiplication or division, we can use this rule. Not when there is a sign of addition or subtraction. In this session, we discussed certain facts related to the law of exponents for real numbers. See you in the next video.